Your mother's in here with his cash. Would you like to leave a message? Oh, bro. That's so manipulative. Then you must know my mother's maiden name. <laughs> oh, I knew it, I knew it. G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching The Exorcist today and I am very scared. <laughs> I feel like this movie is very necessary to watch, especially because I'm going into the entertainment industry. It's very iconic. It is apparently a very, very well-made movie. I think it's influenced a lot of movies today in horror. I don't want to watch it, but I feel like I need to. And you guys have been wanting me to watch it, so yeah. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Ah, oh, okay, I rock. If my horror movie knowledge serves me well, they'll find an item that is imbued with some sort of demon. <laughs> Possibly. Whenever I see anything like this, it reminds me of Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh boy. Oh no. No, put that back. That looks like an idol. Yeah, no, dude. You don't want that. You alright, buddy? Is it because of what he found that he's shaking like that? Oh, it stopped, didn't it? I love the setting of the start of this movie. He's probably got bad hearing. Or he's either really distracted. I imagine the start of this movie and the setting significant from a filmmaking point of view because it makes you get a sense that whatever this entity is, it's ancient. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Is that the uh, the statue of the little totem thing he had? It looks like it had the same face. Georgetown. Oh boy. <laughs> so it begins. <laughs> it's coming from the attic. It's that cold in the room, but the girl doesn't seem to mind. Sure do love you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. right, so. I think it's clean. Then we've got clean hats. <laughs> Take four. All right, hustle background and action. What, she's an actor? Action, Chris. I've seen enough killing it. We're all concerned with human rights, for God's sake. It's an interesting skill set from our main character. Okay, cut. That's a wrap. Is this our exorcist, maybe? Hmm. Love the music. I mean, priests, doctor, lawyers, I've talked to them all. I don't know anyone who likes to sell that. What'd you do today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This man came along on this beautiful gray horse. Really? What kind? Of pretty. I think it was a gelding. This is interesting. The way she's talking, she sounds like she could be 18, but she looks like she's 12. <laughs> Love it when they make a family seem so functional and happy together before something traumatic happens. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, he used to be into boxing? I'm so glad. To you look see good? You. Mama, I could take you somewhere where you'd be safe. This is my house, and I'm not going no place. That's frustrating. Trying to take care of a parent. They're so attached to the place that they've been for so much of their life. You want better for them. Hey, where'd this come from? Oh, no. I found it. I'll show you. No. You need to. No, you don't. You know what I'm about. Well, let's both play with it. Yeah, right. Oh. You really don't want me to play, huh? That is not good. <laughs> it's already taking control of her. Isn't it nice it's on Sunday this year? What can we do? I don't know. Go to church. <laughs> Rip just comes around here a lot because he's lonely. I don't know. 
These sort of conversations are reminding me of the same sort of dialogue in uh, Poltergeist. The way it's so natural and the way they talk over each other and that sort of thing. It just feels very organic. I need reassignment, Tom. I want out of this job. It's wrong. It's no good. I think I've lost my faith, Tom. That's what I was suspecting. Yeah. You don't believe in what you're doing anymore. Uh, I hate the lighting too. Oh, she's got to look herself. No. Oh, I hate this. I don't like this. Don't go up there. If you want to do it, do it in the middle of the day at least. And have a flashlight. Are you kidding me? Yeah, she knows what's up. Oh, not the candle. Ah! That's the thing, though. They don't know that they're in a horror movie. <laughs> we do. So we're like, we know what the best thing to do is. Mm, please, no crazy jump scares. I don't need this in my life. <laughs> Gosh, man. Oh. Yes, this is where they should be on a Sunday. <laughs> Especially with their issue. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Um, what? That was messed up. Breathe normally. Has she already got issues? <gasps> oh! Tell me if you feel a vibration. Regan? What the hell was that? <laughs> what was up with that? That was so random. I don't want it. Oh, damn, she's real aggressive. What the hell? She's possessed already? A disorder of the nerves. At least you think it is. I don't want to look into it too much, but did you notice in the first scene when he was with the statue of the demon, the two dogs were fighting, and then when she was in the hospital, the two boys were fighting? I don't know. I just think that was cool. We want to see Mrs. Caras. Do you have an appointment? Yes. I am her brother. He is her son. You wasn't a pretty big famous psychiatrist now, Park Avenue. Mother should be living in a penthouse instead of the... Oh. Why you did this to me, Demi? Oh. Why? He probably thinks he's some kind of a failure or something because his mum's having to basically put up with the consequences of his decision to be a priest or maybe his failure as becoming a boxer. I don't know. It's hard to know. <laughs> this girl's messed up and no one knows yet. <laughs> Isn't that crazy that between scenes she got possessed and completely changed? It's a solid white nightclub with me as the headliner for all eternity and they love me. Wait, isn't he a priest? Ah, uh, you should be in bed. We got a guest. Oh boy. You're going to die up there. <laughs> She's been sick. She didn't know what she was sick. Oh, gosh. What a way to change the tone. I've just never seen any sort of thing like that in a horror movie. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Why is it just the bed? I mean, I guess we know why, but still, it's just... Oh, goodness me, that image. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Gee. Bro. Lord, I am not to see <laughs> if you're leading the congregation, bro, you've got to be focused. A disturbance in the chemical electrical activity of the brain. The shaking of the bed. That's doubtless due to muscular spasms. What? Yeah, the bed was moving, not her. Look, I got on the bed. The whole bed was thumping. The problem with your daughter is not her bed. It's her I... brain. No, but... <laughs> I guess it's not their job though, right? It's just for a short time. Oh boy. I'm scared of her for some reason. You gonna feel something? A little bit cold mm -hmm. and wet? Don't move. Ah, uh, no. Gosh, man. Yeah, that must be horrible to watch as the mother. And can you see how tired she looks too? She's probably been up for ages. 
Is her brain going to be like perfectly fine? Nothing there. No vascular displacement at all. Things have gotten worse since I found you. I think we better go upstairs. Ah! Mother, please! Stop! Please! Stop! Please! Stop! Please! Stop! Please! Stop! Whoa! Make it stop! He's doing it! She's yeah. floating! Are you serious? Make it stop! Oh. Ah. Keep away! The sour is mine! Fuck me! Oh! God! Gee! Okay. What the hell? How could she fly off the bed like? Pathological states can induce abnormal strength. She's her child pinned under the wheel of a truck. Now lift the wheels a half a foot up off the ground. No, she was floating. Did you see her or not? It's iconic like a, what you, a split personality or... Yeah, her whole voice changed. You keep any drugs in your house? No. I tell you, I said I don't even smoke crabs. Which was pretty normal back then, right? I think it's time we started looking for a psychiatrist. Finally. Gosh. Is this going to be one of those things where basically she has to be the one to be like, I need to see a priest? What was going on there? <laughs> Why were the lights flicking on and off? Oh, no. Gosh, no. Cher? Uh, oh! That face was there. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh no. It's like the uh the demon or whatever it is likes the cold. I hate this. I hate this. Look, there wasn't anybody here, so when I went to get the Thorazine, I had him stay with her and Suppose he heard. Burke's dead. Yeah. Goodness me. He fell down from the top of the steps right outside. Yeah, and he was looking after the girl. <laughs> Gosh, dude. That's why the windows were open. Oh! Gee! Mate. I'm speaking to the person inside of Reagan now. Come forward. Uh. Oh, gee! Went straight for the crotch. Poor guy. Burke Dennings, good father, was found at the bottom of those steps leading to M Street and turned completely around. Wow. Didn't happen in the fall? It's possible. <laughs> you know it didn't. <laughs> you like movies? I love to talk, film, discuss, to critique. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Got passes to the crest. It's a pillow. Debbie Reynolds does Demona and Othello Groucho Mark. I've seen it. You know who I think really did it? The Dominicans go pick on them. Looks like a type of disorder that's uh, rarely ever seen anymore, except in primitive culture. Oh, come on. Stadiate doctors, and all you can tell me with all of your bullshit is. But that's because you're talking to a bunch of people that think the exact same way. They all have the same ideas. They all think very rationally, opposed to outside the box. Of course, there is. One outside chance for a cure. Oh, please, suggest a priest. You ever heard of exorcism? Thank God. It's been uh, pretty much discarded these days, except by the, the Catholics. Has worked. Uh, purely a force of suggestion. You know? Of course, yeah. Belief in possession is what helped cause it. So in that same way, the belief in the power of exorcism can make it disappear. Right. Okay, so that's how most people, I'm assuming, justify how exorcisms work. I do like how this movie isn't shying away from the religious part of this whole thing. Most horror movies that have some sort of faith involved stuff like demons and stuff like that, it's very much either a joke or it's so fantastical that you know it's fake. Where like for this, it's it feels much more real. Comes to visit, stays only 20 minutes and leaves all alone. A very sick girl isn't likely he would fall from a window. The deceased was killed and then pushed from your daughter's window. Would you like some more coffee? Please. I feel like they both deep down know what the possibility is, but they're just not wanting to say it out loud. It's like they're both terrified of the idea. 
It's cute. Oh, that's right. He found that item at the stairs. Uh, what, Play-Doh or clay? Yeah. Yeah, she knows it's possible. Get a priest. Oh, gosh. What the heck? Oh! Oh, gosh! Oh, God. Oh. Do you know what she did, dark hunting daughter? What the hell? <laughs> what did I just witness? She. You're a friend of Father Dyer's, right? Yes, I am. How do you go about getting an exorcism? <laughs> Just like that. Well, it just doesn't happen anymore, Miss McNeil. Father oh, Karras is my little girl. <laughs> Mate. The church, before it approves an exorcism, conducts an investigation to see if it's warranted. You don't understand oh, your daughter. God, did you help her? Just help her! <laughs> it's crazy how she's only just really vocalized what's happening to her daughter out loud. And it's just killing her. She's just breaking down. Yeah, here we go. This is going to be a bit of a wake-up call for this guy. Hello, Reagan. Oh my gosh! I'm Damien Carras. And I'm the devil. Now kindly undo these straps. See, the devil, why not make the straps disappear? <laughs> Your mother's in here with his cash. Would you like to leave a message? Oh, bro. That's so manipulative. Then you must know my mother's maiden name. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Gosh. Yeah, you ticked it off because you outwitted it. <laughs> I need evidence that the church would accept his signs of possession. Like her speaking in a language she's never known or studied. Six months under observation in the best hospital you can find. Yeah, good luck. I'm telling you that that thing upstairs isn't my daughter. You tell me you know for a fact that an exorcism wouldn't do any good. You tell me that. Damn. I'm loving her performance, by the way. It's really good. Well, you see, um, hope you can hear me. Can you hear me okay? Why is he listening to this? Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body. This guy kind of looks possessed himself. It's creepy. What an excellent day for an exorcism. <laughs> but wouldn't that drive you out of Reagan? It would bring us together, you and us. So, uh... God, no, me, yes. La plume de matante. Ah. Yeah, it knows. Until she rots and lies stinking in the earth. Gee, okay. Holy water. Ah, it burns! Ah. <laughs> Mate. I told Reagan that was holy water. I sprinkled it on her and she reacted very violently. It's not holy water. It's tap water. Ah. What's the difference? <laughs> and that doesn't help support a case for possession. She killed Bert Denny. She pushed him out her window. Yeah, she's finally admitting to it. I want that! It's English. It's English in reverse. Listen. Give us time! Better dog! Are there like multiple demons in her? Is that what's going on? Meron. Oh boy, what's going on here? Oh, probably hasn't been eating for weeks, hey? Oh gosh! Oh, gosh, man. That's horrifying. Help me? That is horrific. Just, like, the implications are of that. That her conscious is still inside like just trying to get out someone who spent time in foreign missions in the meantime i'll call you as soon as i go how about lancaster Merritt? oh wow oh so the guy from the start's gonna do the exorcism 10 12 years ago i think in africa the exorcism supposedly lasted months I heard it damn near killed him an exorcism that lasted months damn i think he's uh, qualified <laughs> <laughs> That's an iconic shot right there. It's an honor to meet you, Father. 
Gosh. Important is the warning to avoid conversations with the demon. We may ask what is relevant, but anything beyond that is dangerous. The demon is a liar. Which is hilarious because that's all the other guy was doing. <laughs> was having conversations with it. Hmm. Remember that. Do not listen. Nah, he's gonna crack. It'd be helpful if I gave you some background on the different personalities Reagan has manifested. So far, I'd say there seem to be three. He's convinced that there's only one. Yeah, exactly. Mate, so much build up to this moment. <laughs> be silent! Oh. Mate, straight into it. Deliver us from the evil one. Save me, O oh God, by thy name. Um, your mother sucks cocks and hell. Oh, Paris, you you faithless slime. Gee. So I, I wonder what determines whether they switch between lines because they're both sharing it. Let your mighty hand cast him out of your servant. I can see how what they're saying now is supposed to help. It didn't really seem very relevant, but they're actually saying cast out this demon. Uh, Father Carus. Keep reading. Keep going, mate. Demon, the response, please, take it. Come on, mate. Focus. Come unto thee. Almighty Lord. Scorpions, Whoa. Me. You could actually see it. Power to confront this cruel demon. Oh, God. Of the Lord. Oh. Because you are still power. Oh. Oh. Ew. oh. I wouldn't take that. I'd just be like, get off me. <laughs> 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 Why is it laughing, man? Didn't it not work? Unclean spirit! Show it up your ass! In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ! Fuck him! Be gone! Fuck him, Garrus! By this sign of the Holy Cross! Oh, hi. Who lives and oh, no, please with don't. The and the uh... Damien! Uh... God! Defender of the human race! The way they mix the actual face with her face. No, yeah, no, it's found a weakness and it's going after it. By the judge of the living and the dead. Oh no. It's the power. That's not good. I'd be a little concerned right now. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Ah, uh, here we go. The power of Christ compels you. This is iconic. <laughs> The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! Don't get too close, though. Gosh! The whole room? I'm worried about the old guy, because I feel like it doesn't take much and he could get easily hurt. Oh, gosh. That's that statue from the start. Let's rest before we start again. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, chill right there if I were you. <laughs> don't, don't stay there with her. Why this girl doesn't make sense. I think the point is to make us despair. To see ourselves as animal and ugly. To reject the possibility that God could love us. Mate, like even his faith is rocking a bit. Oh, okay, so the shaking from the start was the fact that he needs these pills. So it's not necessarily a fear thing, is it? Then again, this happened after he picked up the totem, and now it's happening after this scene. What's he Baby, doing? Why you do this to me? Oh, gosh. Her heart. You give her something. She going to come. You're not my mother! Stop, dude. Yeah, you've cracked, bro. Yeah, but now the problem is the father is by himself. He needs help. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this. Is it over? Is she gonna die? No. Wow. It's almost like her asking that just gave him like this conviction, hey, to focus on the mission. I worry though, it could be too late. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> he looks so mad. Oh no! What the hell happened? How the- He got killed off screen? 
What did she do? Son of a bitch! Come into me! God damn you! Take me! Take me! Excuse me? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wait, so he made the demon possess his body instead and then committed suicide. He broke the cycle, I guess, but mate. Do you want to make a confession? Are you sorry for, are you sorry for having offended God for all the sins of your past life? Whoa. Was that his way of saying, like, yes? Because that's the only thing he could physically do? I guess that's a bit comforting because it's also like, before he died, he actually had a chance to, like, make himself right with God, I guess. You know what I mean? She doesn't remember any of it. That's good. For real? Maybe it was so traumatizing that she doesn't. This is Father Dyer. Hi, Father. Hello. Huh. Was that like a, uh, she looked at the collar? I remember that. She associated him with the people that saved her life. I thought you'd like to keep this. Why don't you keep it? How's the girl? She seemed fine. Back to business? Back to work? Yep. Like nothing ever happened. <laughs> you go to films? I got a pass to the crest tomorrow night. Wuthering Heights. I've seen it. <laughs> Another one. Yep. <laughs> what a movie. Alright, so I made it through in one piece. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> I, I thought the movie was actually really, really well done. Um, I don't think I found it as, like, jump scary or, like, traumatizing as some more modern sort of horror movies. Like, one I watched recently was Smile. Like, that just killed me the whole way through. Where I felt like this is definitely scary. And I think a lot of the reason why I may have not found it as scary as others is because... Um, you know, I am desensitized like a lot of other people my age to like horror movies in general, but I can like, I appreciated just the, the film craft of it, the way that, um, it was such like a slow build up over time and they slowly raised the stakes and, um, the characters were really well constructed and they all felt very, very human. I felt like the storytelling kind of reminded me of um, Poltergeist in the way that um, the conversations they had were very organic and um, it just felt like the world was really lived in. Um, where I feel like when you watch some horror movies, a lot of the time you feel like you're jumping into a different universe sometimes. Where I feel like when you watch movies like Poltergeist or The Exorcism, you feel like it's your planet that they're on. and. Um, you know, they could be anybody, they could be your neighbours. So I really like that touch, it makes it feel more real. And as a result, it makes the content far more scary because you're just like, oh, this could actually happen. Um, yeah, I thought it was really cool to see the transformation of the girl throughout the film, you know. I think a little touch that they had that was nice was the fact that she was so articulate and um, very mature for her age. Just the way she was talking, it seemed like she was beyond her years I felt a little bit like that it felt like she would be more like 17 or 18 the way she was talking sometimes and for her to then you know we herself in front of all those guests and then to eventually um you know become this entity I thought that that transformation was very very contrast to how she started um which I thought was really cool um I feel sorry for the mum so much though the amount of torture she got put through through the movie um, was just insane, like, but I, I loved just the amount of unconditional love that she had, um, it was very real, very mother-like, um, but I really, I was really intrigued by the story of the priest, you know, how he used to be a boxer, and how he was trying to look after his mum, and I think there were some undertones too there, where it was kind of like, he felt like he'd failed her as a son, he couldn't provide for her in the way that he wanted, um, and, I don't think it was explicitly said, but maybe he failed as a boxer and he couldn't produce the finances that he wanted to. 
and he became a priest. I just feel like his story was very sad because he maybe he felt like he hadn't accomplished the things he wanted to and he couldn't protect the person that he loved the most. And it was kind of interesting to see him at the end of the movie almost like a redemption arc in a weird way um take the place of the girl and then to kill himself um it was almost like a a way of him getting closure and to know that he'd done something with his life that was valuable which is kind of sad but um it was a cool sort of ending to his arc as a character and it was it was kind of nice to have the guy be like do you want to confess your sins and blah 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 um and him to be able to actually respond by lifting his fingers i thought that that was a nice touch um just a really awesome movie like just overall just really well crafted um good storytelling and obviously this movie kicked off a lot of um trends in horror movies and this is the origin of a lot of really cool ideas so it's kind of cool to finally watch a movie that is so I iconic and so influential i had a great time i hope you guys did too if you haven't already please like and subscribe and i will see you all next time stay cozy